Yes, every treatment has a risk benefit, advantages and disadvantage. The treatment has to be given in multiple cities, especially the newer type of injections. Hardly in less than 10% of people, the issue of raised pressure, which can be easily managed by a retinal physician who treats, needs to decide whether it is required for you, then you should definitely undergo that. Uh, hello everyone, uh, welcome to Retina Connect. So we have spoken about the uh, treatment options in managing diabetic uh, retinopathy. So there are few questions uh, related to myths uh, in the treatment of uh, diabetic retinopathy or management of macular edema. So one of the common question is whether the treatment uh, it can be managed or cured with one single injection no, it is important to understand that as this disease um, takes a long time to uh, kick in and cause complications like diabetic macular edema, the treatment has to be given in multiple sittings. So whether it be anti of injections or uh, the intravitreal steroid uh, injections, then it has to be initially it has to be given uh, probably in a monthly fashion and as the uh, condition stabilizes and the vision restores to a maximum then we can slowly reduce the number of injections and try to stop the treatment but this might take anywhere between six months to one year minimum so it is a gradual treatment and tapered slowly and try to stop the treatment so another question that uh, is being asked is are these newer treatments whether it be injections or laser treatment uh, are this a definitive cure? No, unfortunately, these are not uh, definitive cure for diabetic retinopathy, but it tackles very effectively, especially the newer type of injections with minimal number of treatments. These condition can be stabilized and the people restore good vision. So it's important that people come back to their normal lifestyle. They read, they write, do all um daily activities and they get back to their uh, routine so that way on a long term and as the uh, treatment the second year or third year or they are uh, once injections are over or treatment is done for example you do proliferative late stage diabetic retinopathy and stabilize you need even after the treatment is stopped you need periodic follow-ups to see whether any further progression is there it's a continued care over the long term and people maintain very good vision. So that is the ultimate. So it's not a one-time cure for the solution. And another question uh, that frequently comes is that if the initial, in a, in a small proportion of people, these uh, anti of injections, even the, the best ones, uh, may not be effective. For example, in around 30% of the people. So then what do you do? So we use a steroid injection or steroid uh, implant injection which requires um, very few number of treatments. But are they safe? Yes, every treatment has risk benefits, advantages and disadvantage. These um, uh, intravitreal steroids are well studied and uh, internationally like FDA approved and uh, are routinely being used for treatment. And the physician, the retinal physician who treats needs to decide whether it is required for you, then you should definitely undergo that. Uh, because uh, hardly in less than 10% of people, the issue of raised pressure, which can be easily managed with uh, drops, topical medications, eye drops, and so it is not an issue. So these are a few things which uh, I wanted to address in this video and hope this helps. And uh, thank you for your kind attention and patient listening. See you in next video.